Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael, and I've added this cylindrical stone tower to the Old Town Hall on my N-Gage model railway. I used a lot of new and interesting techniques for this build, so in this video I'll show you how I went about making the tower and its stone domed roof. Let's start with the tower's construction in Stone Tower, Scratch Built Town Hall, Part 6. After watching part one of this series, several viewers suggested alternative approaches to how I made the base of the tower, so I thought I'd give one a go. I cut some circles and a piece of wall from half millimetre card. The card has small rectangles to represent the recesses which will contain the carved stonework detail. The first thing to do is to peel off the sticky label once it's cut. The label folds and creases as the card bends, and we don't want that. It can take some effort to peel just the label and not a layer of card, but I got there in the end. I then found a suitably cylindrical thing. This is a wooden pestle and it's about the right diameter. I simply rolled the card wall around it. I took care to keep it as tight as possible against the pestle, and then held it in place with elastic bands. Next I took a bottle of water with a really fine spray. This old hair conditioner bottle is perfect and I lightly sprayed the card to make it quite wet. Whilst that was drying, I glued the circles into pairs to make them thicker. The resulting wall is nicely curved and has a natural tendency to keep its curved shape. No scoring needed. To make the cylinder, I applied two beads of super glue, stuck the circles in place, and then tightly wound the wall around the circles. I was left with a nice cylinder with three holes in it. I needed to get a backing onto the holes so that I could stick the 3D nail art stonework in place. So I cut out a little hole and then glued a bit of paper behind the gaps. Onto the paper I applied the nail art stickers and they are nicely recessed into the wall. I painted the nail art stone colour and then I printed the wall texture and used watercolour paints to remove the white edges of the recesses. And then simple PVA glue held the texture in place around the cylinder. I then glued the whole thing to the town hall using Uhu. On to the next part, the lantern base. I drew many circles for the next part. It includes some protruding elements of different sizes for the short piece of tower on top. Once cut out, I was left with a load of numbered discs, and each one included guidelines to help me arrange them dead centre to each other. Four discs of 1mm card are glued on top of each other to make a piece of tower just shy of 5mm tall. Disc 1 goes underneath disc 2, disc 3 goes on top of 2, and then the 5mm stack of number 4 goes on top of number 3. Once painted a stone colour, the detail in the extruding part can be nicely seen. A strip of stone texture wraps around the 5mm part. And then, hiding the slightly fudged join at the back, the part is added to the tower. I didn't really know where to start with the lantern part, so I made another cylinder the same way as before, but with a much smaller diameter than the tower below it. I will build out the detail using layers of card, with each panel comprising two layers of half mm card detail and a paper background. The paper part was stuck directly onto the cylinder. I would have preferred a flat clock face, but it's curved around the cylinder and it's not really that noticeable. I cut out the delicate framing elements and carefully painted around the white paper edges with stone coloured paint. PVA glue was then used to stick the card to the cylinder. I pressed it into place until it held its shape curving around the base piece. Rolling it on the mat also helped. The second layer then dropped on top in the same way. I used small matchsticks of card as spaces between the panels. And then I used these as guides for the next panel along. I used stacks of circles again for the base of this part. There are protrusions where the outer columns attach. These were all stacked up and painted in the same way as before, and then the lantern was glued to it. I finished off by wrapping columns of card with stone texture and then gluing them between the panels. And then eventually I added the lantern to the stack. More notched discs, 
stacked like this. And then 12 quarter circles of half millimetre card glued to a circular base gave the basic dome shape. This will go onto the stack of discs like this. I then used the measure path feature of Inkscape to measure the height and width of five parts of a one sixth segment of the dome. This allowed me to draw an accurate petal shape, which I hoped would wrap around the dome. I made the bottom curved so that it fits around the base of the circle properly. Once printed and with PVA glue, I carefully applied the petals to the frame. They were maybe a little large to curve effectively, but with the elastic bands, I eventually got a basic dome shape that was only a little bit crumpled. Next, I printed a version of the petals with slots to cut out. I glued the paper together into a stack of three sheets and then carefully cut them out with the scalpel. I carefully glued these on top of the paper base. I needed a nice ball effect finial for the top. I mixed up a small portion of milliput, and then I fashioned a little stack of discs and spheres on top of the dome. Once it was hardened, I painted the whole thing stone colour. I'm incredibly pleased with the overall look of the tower. In end scale, the building is rather small and a lot of the details look a bit wobbly up close. But from a more natural viewing distance, the tower looks super and really finishes the building off well. I'm off to the York Model Railway Show on Saturday morning. If you're there and you see me, please do say hello. I look something a little bit like this. Onto the roof of the town hall next. It's a complex hipped affair, but I already have the serial packet base in place. Here's a look at the technique I use when working with hipped roofs. Join me next week to see how I get on with that. In the meantime, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.